Welcome to Blair Educational Center. Located approximately 15 kilometers from Kisumu town, Blair Educational Center has grown to become a modern learning facility in Kisumu County. The Blair Educational Center started in 2013. And uh, it started with 107 enrollment just at once. So you can imagine how people are desperate for school. Uh, we started with two blocks, baby class and middle class. We have been going one, one, one class at a time. So like we started with two classes, the next, uh, the next uh, year, that is 2014, we introduced another class. Uh, it's only in 2016 that we introduced now another class ahead. We are supposed to be in class two right now, but we introduced an, uh, class three because there was that need. The distance from here to the nearest schools uh, was is like uh, five miles apart. So you get that the young kids could not make it to school. So they were okay. They were being sent go to school. At the at the end of the day, they took a lot uh, more time, maybe walking, maybe sitting down, and the rest. Hey, shule, me to leta to vizuri. Yakwanza ipokaribu watoto wanaweza kuja kama watoto wadogo. Wanaweza kuja mapema shuleni juu shule zingine ziko huko mbali mimi sula imenisaidia sana juu mimi niko na watoto wadogo hawawezi kwenda mbali wakikuja hapa wako na tabia nzuri e, performance yao pia ni nzuri uh, two primary school within this sub location one is uh, Timbonde Primary School, which is very, very far at the far end of Western Province. And the other one is the Wachara Primary School, which is on the southern part of this sub-location. As compared, they are too far from this village. And we are very happy as members of this community that Belaya is right in the middle. I think I'm, I'm not seeing any different with those people who are in the urban centre. Because I'm just seeing myself comfortable where I am. Everything I need is just there. Even if you compare my school, my CD classes with the other classes in the urban centers, we are just the same. Because if you look at my class, the materials we have, everything that we teach, everything that is there, in fact, we are the best. Blair Educational Center came out of a need to assist the Nyahera community in Kisumu East location by giving scholarship opportunities to poor but bright children. In fact, this sponsorship was a relief to parents and mostly uh, disadvantaged ones because we, know we just sponsor the most bright from the really poor or disadvantaged families, so that's why. And now, we, uh, people now can realize even these people from really poor families can now perform better than people who are in, uh, in a position to do that. So it has also helped a lot within the community. We are lucky that we got a friend who is helping on the, on the sponsored kids. So as much as they're even being sponsored, one, uh, there are some parents who cannot even afford to buy uh, shoe polish. The school has given young children an opportunity to attend school at a tender age and within their neighborhood. It has also started initiatives that target to empower the parents economically to improve the living standards in the area. We have uh, these two projects that um, we have introduced so far. The poultry project and uh, the tree nursery project. Uh, with the poultry project, we bought this incubator which carries 96 eggs. It touches eggs just like the chicken do after 21 days. We get eight parents every month. So these eight parents, each one of them brings 12 eggs. After bringing those 12 eggs, 
after the egg hatches. You go back home with 10, eggs, uh, 10 chicks and you leave the project with two chicks. We train you on how you can take care of those chicks. At the age of four months or at most six months, you can be able to sell them. So we come, take your chicks, the 10 that you had, we sell for you and bring back the money to you. And again, when we talk to these parents that we want to involve them in the trainer side, because we would not like to pay for labor. So if these parents, if they're willing, so they go work on that farm. We only have to buy maybe um, the seeds, the items that need to be used in the farm, so that when we sell these things, it also, again, it comes back to them. Despite the great positive strides since its inception, the school has had its fair share of challenges. Number one challenge I can say we are facing right now is um, we cannot really keep our good teachers because of the salary that we give them. The other challenge also we have is um, lack of enough materials, especially textbooks. We don't have enough because the ratio now is maybe one book to th three children, which is also not good. We would like to come to a point where maybe it can be one to one so that even you can be giving that, th those children books to, take, to keep them and then when they go to the next class, they return them. This village also, I can say that uh, people are still very poor. So children also, some of them cannot do their homework because maybe they didn't have light in their, in their homes. We are planning to have a one-story building down here. Uh, which can accommodate the administration block and eight classes. We are planning to have a school clinic within. Uh, we are planning to have a, a library, a computer room separate. Now they are maybe in one place, something like that. And then we want to educate uh, parents also. We want to introduce adult education to them so that at least they can also check the books and everything. They can even open their own accounts, they can apply for loans and something like that. Yeah, and then furthermore, we might end up, as time goes by, build um, a health clinic or a dispensary for the community at large. This is now my 18th year in the service. I've seen a lot of challenges within this area. But since this school was started, we have seen a lot of changes because as compared to other times that uh, we were to wait up to a certain age so that we can take our children to, to school. But at this time now we have, we can take them, they, they can start their education from baby because we are next to the school.